guys, Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned in to the talking shit. Today, we're going to talk about how to control your uh, sprayer or your applicator with a Raven 450. So this is the Raven control console. This is one of the most reliable consoles on the market, mainly because it is just so simple. Uh, but I want to go through some cabling first on the Raven. So this cable right here, can you see these wires hanging out the side? This is what we call a console cable. Right here, your sticker kind of gives it away. It says console end, meaning this end plugs into the back. See all those plugs? It plugs into the back of your uh, Raven console. So we'll get this thing screwed in here. So that's plugged in. From there, everyone always wonders what these wires are for. So the red and white wire is your main power to control the box. So you will have to source power, and the fuse kind of gives away which one's power. This is power, white is ground, and you have to hook these up either to that round three pin plug in your tractor, or there's a rectangle one as well. We just need constant power to this. From there, you have two little pigtails. One has a white wire in it, one is solid orange, and they have these little spade connectors. Those are for your, if you have a speed source. So we like to use the Astro uh, speed sensor. And one of these is key power, which is the striped one. And one is constant power, which is the orange. So you can plug your Astro speed sensor into whichever one you would like to get power to it. Okay, so we've got the console cable plugged into the 440. And now we've got this end of the console cable. So if you can imagine, this is going to hang about right here coming from the tractor because the console will be in the tractor. And from here, we plug in our Raven. From here, we plug in our Raven product cable, okay? This end goes up to our flow meter, our section valves, and our standard control valve. This is the standard control valve. This is your flow meter, and these are your boom valves, okay? So the other end of this which will land about right here on the hitch, plugs in to this cable right here. So you've got your console cable giving you power. You have got your product cable controlling all of your sections. Now, let's go back here on this applicator and we can show you kind of how it's ran. You can see we have two section valves on this particular applicator. And if you look, we've got them plugged in right here to our section valve, uh, valve harness on our product cable. Right here is our standard valve, and you can see we're plugged in to our standard valve. Right here is our flow meter, and right here we are plugged into our flow meter. This product harness runs up the hitch and connects to our console cable right here. So those are the ins and the outs of the uh, Raven wiring and harnessing. You've got your your console, you've got your console cable that provides power, and then you have your product cable. If you guys have any questions or need some more information or how to set up your Raven 450 or 460, give Fennig Equipment a call, and thanks for tuning in.